Hello, Danielle. Yeah. Hi. Um, is it? See you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm very well. I'm. I am. I am talking to you from the MDV. Oh, see, wonderful. Weather, <laughs> the sun is shining, and and yes. people outside. So almost oh, like in normal. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wonderful. That yeah, and and it's so beautiful there. Yeah, it's really beautiful, really colorful. Oh. So. <laughs> So you, I see on Facebook you have this concert on um, on Friday. Is that your? Is that like a graduation concert or something? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And and of course, thank you for for your for your concern and for for your invitation. This is a, our graduation concert for the conducting students of the MDV. Yeah. So this is always like a big tradition, you know. Every year, the the these conducting students from the university that are graduating they do together a concert with the radio symphony orchestra of vienna in mm. music Verein. that's like a big tradition since almost 20 years something like that or more than 20 years and every year has been like this and uh, now it's our turn so to say <laughs> that's wonderful and will you have audience there Yes, of course. It's a it's a it's, an, it's a concert, of course, open to the public. Yeah. With all the safety measures and okay, what 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 we already know, mm. but yes, the public is going to be there. Actually, we have mm. actually a, a lot of amount of public, as far as I know. Okay. And it's Friday evening, so it's it's going to be great, and mm. and also because for most of us, it's our first concert after this weird corona times and mm. also for the public okay we have the opportunity to see a concert again so it's yeah it's, so uh, how many of how many of you are there that will, uh, will conduct we are five conductors uh, mm. like from two different classes from from professor stringer and from professor pironko mm. but we are five total yes okay Oh, that's wonderful. And um, tell me now, how what is the pr preparation? How long before the time have you started preparing for this? Well, we are we are uh, beginning the rehearsals today. We we began this morning actually. We have two days of intense rehearsals, like today and tomorrow. And on Friday we have the the dress rehearsal at the uh, at the morning, mm -hmm. and then at the evening is the is the concert. So of course the preparation is really intense because mm -hmm. from one side you have to be very good prepared. Mm -hmm. You have to know the music very well. Uh, and of course know what do you want to do with the music mm -hmm. because despite the, the rehearsal time, actually you can almost feel there is not enough time to rehearse because you think there are a lot of things I want to do and everything, so you have to be very efficient. Mm. On the other hand, well, the, the orchestra is amazing. They are really, really well prepared, amazing musicians, amazing people. And, mm. and they are very, so to say, very receptive, very sensitive, but also proactive. So they, mm. they tell you a very good constructive feedback and they are open to the ideas that you want to present. So so it's, it's great it's a lot of work but it's it's, it's great uh, we are enjoying it a lot that's wonderful and so this will this was this morning the first time that you conducted this orchestra with this orchestra yes that's that was actually that's for for all of us the, our first time with this orchestra with the yeah, with the yeah. radio yeah. And, um, and is it is it difficult to uh, i mean do you have to get to know the orchestra first a little bit or how do you connect with them? Or is it it's just when they start playing that you connect? It's, it's, it comes from both sides, you know, I think. From one hand, uh, also, I mean, from, from, what's, from one side, you have to know the music very well. And mm -hmm. it, it also works if you have, uh, so to say, a model or, or an, 
image, a previous image of the orchestra. So you can you can see the orchestra in other concerts or what, which kind of repertoire do they perform? How do they react to different conductors? Mm -hmm. The good thing uh, that this radio orchestra, they are, they got used to play a lot of modern and contemporary music. So yeah. that makes them a lot of flexible, very open to different ideas. Oh. And that from one, from mm -hmm. another is, when you are in there conducting, mm -hmm. I always say it's like a presentation card, so to say the first 10 minutes. So you give time to, to know the orchestra, to know how do they react mm -hmm. about what you want to do. And also mm -hmm. on the opposite side, the orchestra, the orchestra needs to also to get to know you. How mm -hmm. do you conduct? How is your energy? How is your personality? How are your, your technical aspects, so to say, of course. So it's like, it's like speaking, you know? Yeah. It's like speaking and, and with the time, we get to know each other better. So the, the first part of the rehearsal is like, like this presentation card, so to say. With mm -hmm. the time, you gain more trust and more empathy. And okay, you know, okay, the orchestra reacts like this when I do this. Uh, so I will do this or I'll do something else. You, I want to look for a different reaction and the orchestra as well. So they know, mm -hmm. ah, okay, it's going to be like this and like this. So mm -hmm. it's, it's like getting to know each other, like, like two people. Okay. Yeah. So, and, and the music that you will be conducting, is it something that you chose yourself? Yeah. We, we chose the, so to say. And what uh, will you be conducting? What is the piece um, that you chose? Conducting a wonderful piece from Maurice Ravel. It's called mm -hmm. the Spanish Rhapsody, actually. And that was also my 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 chose, my chose. Mm -hmm. When we when you are received this invitation, so to say, and we already know from the beginning of the study that we graduate conducting this orchestra. So yeah. you think a lot of time in advance what do i want to do why do i want to do this repertoire so to say uh, what is my personality which repertoire would be at best for me would, would would fit good for me and i think with ravel i i get to to do a i got to do a very good choice so to say because it it is it has a lot of colors a lot of stories uh, inside of them uh a lot of games of light and, and, and color and also a lot of small details so to say and mm. I like that it's a very brilliant expressive but also explosive music almost exotic so to say mm. uh, and also okay well I come from Colombia and, and in Colombia of course we know that there is a very important musical heritage from Spain so more or less there is some kind of empathy or at least understanding mm -hmm. with the with the atmosphere or with the colors of this music so you think that would re that that matches your personality yes well i i feel actually very very happy with my choice it wasn't yeah. an easy because mm -hmm. of course music is so different and so mm -hmm. wide and there's a lot of things. There are a lot of things that you can choose or you can you can think about, especially for such a big moment like this. Mm. I'm really happy with my choice. Mm. Uh, that's Love wonderful. The music. So, mm. so, so I think it would be a it would be a very very good and very happy concert. So to say. Mm. And will your family be coming uh, from? Um... Well, my, my brother is okay. here. Yeah. He, he lives in Linz since this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. But of course, the rest of my family is in Colombia and due to the Corona regulations, they are not okay. allowed to mm. us, which is a mm. little bit like disappointing, I have to confess. Mm. Very mm. disappointing. But I'm very happy that my brother is here. And yeah. of course, my friends are here. So. I, I will be very happy to share this moment with them and, mm. and most of all that we all enjoy good music because mm. that's, that's the idea. Mm. 
enjoy but, with music. Yeah, but I'm sure your family, I'm sure your family is very proud of you anyway, even though they cannot come, but um, I'm sure they're very proud of you. <laughs> well, I've been extremely supportive every mm. single moment of my life, of mm. my of my life as a person or, and also my life as a musician. They have always given me 200, 300% of their support. Mm. So I, I think about them every single day and, and, I, and I will be very happy also to share this moment with them. Although mm. they are in a country, but, uh, mm. but they are in my heart, so to say. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, but Danielle, tell me uh, now, uh, you have probably not been asked this question before, but what are you wearing for the, for the concert? Wow. <laughs> that's going to be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say that's going to be a surprise because, the, well, the, the tradition, I wouldn't say the protocol, Rather, the tradition is that the, the conductor should wear a, a frack and a, and a bow tie. Yeah. Uh, this long frack, this has always been a, a tradition in this concert and almost in every concert here. Mm. Um, but I am wearing something different and that uh, will be a surprise. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing your own thing, I see. Well, you, I think you have that also has to match with your own personality, you know? Mm. We were there, and that has happened to me also in, in, in other concerts and in other experiences. Mm. You, you have to find your voice. Mm. Of course, the outfit is, is, is a small part, but also a part of that, mm. so to say. Um, but it's really important that you feel comfortable with yourself, with your with your personality, with your own voice, so to say, because that's what the concert is about, to show what's your voice with the music and with the, with the possibilities and with the, with, the, with the moment in context, so to say. Yeah, no, that's true. Um, and I admire you for, for, um, for doing that, because I think not many people have the confidence to do their own thing and to, to you know, show their own personality. Because I think the pressure on you is also a lot, uh, you know? Well, I, I think it's, well, this is very personal, but I think it's, it's a balance with that, you know? Because, because, uh, because you have, you are studying in a school, so to say, in a very important school, so to say, with a lot of tradition and knowledge. Mm. And that's extremely important, especially here, the, the Viennese school, worldwide, worldwide famous and, and very important, big traditions. And of course, you have to know them. And, and I'm extremely thankful for what I have learned in this time, you know? Mm. Yeah, to, to, get, to gain at, at least a part of this tradition, so to say. Mm. And, but what I think is, with this tradition, with this knowledge, I think knowledge is a better word. No, with this knowledge, you gain tools, so to say, to find your own voice. It's not like I'm finding my own voice and I am competing or I am struggling mm. with traditions. Mm. I don't think that rather is like through this knowledge, through this huge amount of knowledge that we have here in Vienna, you gain tools and you get you gain expertise and experience to find your own voice mm. and i think that's very important in every in every musician you know well as i said this is very personal but yeah i think it's yeah, i think it's yeah what you want and of course the the knowledge because that mm. that gains has a lot of weight historical and artistic weight mm. so how do you relate to what do you do with them? Create new knowledge as well. Yeah, no, that's that's wonderful that you see it that way. Uh, <laughs> listen, do you have a pre-concert ritual? Do you do something before a concert? <laughs> wow, 
That's that's actually a, a very beautiful question, and and the first time that someone asks that to me. Uh, <laughs> well, I I like to do different things, you know. For for mm -hmm. most of all, I, I I try to stay calm and peaceful. So mm -hmm. I I take out for a walk. I I meditate a little bit. Sometimes I I do a little bit of yoga before mm -hmm. the concert preparation for the mind and, and for the body as well because it's highly demanding physically um to eat something i like of course um, not so big but yes something that i like that that makes me happy or 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 talking to a friend but most of all anything that makes me feel peaceful without stress without time pressure so i try to arrive early to the mm -hmm. to the venue or anything when, when I have to do something and I try to have a good moment with myself I meditate I I stretch a lot I do yoga oh, okay. mm -hmm. and yes so so I gain this 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 balance for the concert and also having a, a quiet mind and an open mind to for what follows actually <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, that's that's, right. <laughs> mm, that's great. That's and and it's good to know these things, you know, at uh, what what you do. So it's uh, everybody says this also to me that it's this time, a little quiet time, to just think about everything, so that it's relaxed and going relaxed out there and do your thing. But exactly. Uh, yeah but thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for for telling me about this it's so um i think it's so exciting that you have this opportunity and it's such a great um way of of uh, you know letting you finish your your year with with this orchestra and and this performance in such a beautiful concert house well thank you very much for your kind words and i hope you enjoy the the concert this is of course, a very important concert uh, for many conductors has always been like this because uh, it, it, it means, of course, the, the end of your studies, but also could begin the, the beginning of something bigger in the future. So, but most of all, it's, it's about gathering people, mm -hmm. uh, especially after these times. And, and yeah, mm -hmm. gather our, ourselves together and around music and, and enjoy music that that most of all <laughs> yeah no, that's true well enjoy the sunshine uh, there at the mdv i'm just across the road from you oh that's great <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i live not too far okay daniel have Thank a lovely you afternoon <laughs> you too you too thank take you. care okay. lovely afternoon Thank you. Bye. Bye.